Today I want to show you something really cool and fun. I want to show you how you can separate shape and color from any object in Photoshop and change the color really easily. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. Today we will have a lot of fun because I will show you one really cool trick how you can separate color from the shape on any object in Photoshop and easily change the color. Yes, I know I already have several tutorials on color change in Photoshop, so there are several ways how you can change the color from an object in Photoshop, but now you will know another method, another technique that you can add to your Photoshop arsenal so you can use it whenever you have a need for it because one technique is not enough for all situations. So guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Let's start with this really simple photo and let's change the color of this t-shirt. And yes, I know guys, before you throw some rocks at me and some comments, I know there are so simple ways how to change the color of the t-shirt. The simplest way is to just use the hue and saturation adjustment layer and choose red color and change it. But I will show this really cool technique that will be handy, really handy, some situations that you cannot just use the simple techniques. Also, I already showed you how to change any color into black and, and white, etc. So you have all these tutorials linked in the description down below. Check it out if you're not familiar with that. But today, let me show you how to separate the shape from the color and change to any color like this. So first thing that you need to do is to make a selection of an object that you want to change color to. So I already did it to save the time for this tutorial. As you can see, I already create a layer mask and I did this using a quick selection tool really easily select this and refine the edges and that's it. All right, so now we will work only with the t-shirt to make everything more simple. Okay, so now what I want to do is to actually extract the t-shirt on a separate layer. And to do that, I will just press Control or Command key on a Mac, click on the layer mask, load the selection, as you can see the matching guns. And now I will click on the layer, not on the mask, on the layer and press Control or Command J. So now I have just the t-shirt, as you can see, on the separate layer and that's what I need here. So now the fun begins. Now we need to separate the shape from the color. To do that we will create two layers. First is for the highlights and midtones and second is for the shadows and midtones. So in both of those layers part of the midtones will be included. So that's basically called luminosity masks. We will create two luminosity masks. I already did a tutorial about Luminosity Mask is a little bit more advanced, complete tutorial. And I did it a long time ago when I started this YouTube channel two years ago and a little bit more. If you want it, you can check it out right here. So let's go back to this one. To create really simple Luminosity Mask, to select only highlights or only shadows from the photo, you just need to go to the channels and make sure to have only visible on the screen object or layer that you want to create luminosity mask from. So let's go to the channel, only my t-shirt layer it's visible. And now I'll press control key on the Windows or command key on the Mac, click on RGB la layer, RGB channel actually, and that's it. I just loaded the selection. You cannot see the full selection, but now only the highlights are selected. Now we'll go back to the layer, layers, and now we'll create a mask. And as you can see, only the highlights are visible. Everything here is transparent because here are shadows and some semi-transparent area here because they are shadows. But now I don't need the color information from this layer. So I will desaturate this. I will press keyboard shortcut, shift control U or shift command U on a Mac and get rid of the color. Also make sure to deselect, press control command D before that and now just desaturate it and that's cool. And now I need to create another layer. We can repeat the same step to extract the t-shirt and to have it on separate layer or we can just duplicate this layer but just press Control command j make a copy of this i will rename this to light okay and rename this to darks or shadows whatever you want okay and now i will just hide the lights i will deal with the shadows but this layer is representing just lights just highlights so we need to invert the layer mask. We can just go on layer mask, press control or command I, and we will have only shadows visible with a bright range of midtones too. Also, 
if you don't want to invert the mask there is a way how you can select only shadows just for you to, to for your information to know something new you need to go without layer mask so let's delete layer mask you need to have only visible whatever you want to select go to channel again the same procedure control command click and now just press shift control i or shift command i to invert the selection then go back and create a layer mask you will get exactly exactly the same thing as i got with inverting the layer a layer mask okay now we have two layers we have lights and shadows and basically we just extracted the shape from the color we don't have color information at all but i want to tweak this a little bit more so now i want to click on the layer mask of the lights and press and hold alt or option key on a mac click on the mask just to have a mask visible this is not a t-shirt layer this is just a mask so what i want to do now i want to press ctrl command l to load levels and i want just to play with the mask so everything what is dark is not transparent that that uh, dark parts will not be visible through the mask so dark parts of this mask layer will not be visible layer will you will not see these parts of the layers just the basics of layer mask if you're not familiar uh, how the layer masks works check out my tutorial about that right here so i just want to make some shadows even more dark not to be visible in this lights layer so that's it something like this and i will press ok then i will press and hold alter option key click on the shadow layer mask here and i will do the same Control command l to load levels and now i just want to narrow this selection to narrow this mask because i don't want highlights to be visible so everything that is black that is going to dark to black will not be visible as you can see highlights are going to be dark and only shadows are visible only what is white in the mask is visible okay but i don't want to go too far because now i will lose mid-tones and everything i just want to go something like this and i think it's okay right let's click on layer so this is it this is the shape of the t-shirt now we just need to play with the color so i will just load back our background i just have white background here but that's only working as a background i will go right here and create new adjustment layer solid color adjustment layer and i will use white for a start press ok and i need to add a mask right here i will duplicate this mask of the t-shirt because i want this color layer to affect only the t-shirt so alter option key drag and copy it to another layer mask you want to replace it yes now we have this with a layer mask that's really cool so guys now everything is matter of changing color I can go oh actually one one more uh, important tip is that you can go to shadow layer and put it in a multiply blending mode because it will work a little bit better in some colors you you can try experiment with normal or multiply blending mode so let's go double click on the solid color adjustment layer and just change the color if you want a black t-shirt there you have it gray white some color any color it's so easy so simple you just need to create those two layers and adjust it and now guys you can play however you want with whatever you want and just really easily change the color for example if you have some merchandise store and you have a lot of t-shirts you can really easily change the color of these t-shirts to black from black to maybe white to maybe any color you want bright dark however you want it's just a matter of playing with solid color adjustment layer and that's it we're done we can go home now actually just stay for a couple of minutes i want to show you a few more things with exactly the same technique so we can press ok and we can just change the color of this background layer maybe to something complementary something yellowish and that's it we have some really cool combination but that's not uh, something that i wanted to show you i want to show you another thing and that's that you can go and change even the white t-shirt it doesn't matter the color doesn't matter you just need the information of highlights and shadows actually lights and the dark parts of any object in photoshop it doesn't need to be a t-shirt this is just the example here you can use whatever you want i will show you with one couch later so you just need to repeat the same techniques choose any adjustment layer and just play play with the color if you need darker for example because white is why it is too bright if you want to create some like dark black color you cannot do that because 
this light I, I just made like L for light, D for dark. Light uh, layer is too bright, so we just need to lower the opacity of that. And you can see we have black, etc. You can go and choose. Maybe you can add curves adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the whites, and then lower the opacity of lights and just maybe add more like contrast here and like this and have play something like like that or do whatever you want. There are a lot of combinations that you can now attach the effect to only those layers, play with that. You can really create some amazing, amazing results. Also guys, we can go, as you can see, this is like, it was, it was blue. Now it's just red or green or whatever color you want, black, white, I don't know, whatever kind of t-shirt you want, you just need to create selection and do that. Also on the piece of furniture, for example, we have this photo, it's black and white. I purposely did the black and white just to show you that you can even colorize photos in with this technique. You just need to repeat the same procedure. I extracted this part of the couch, so did the same. I have two layers, shadows and highlights and just color and that's it. We'll just play with the colors and we can change to any color. We maybe want pink, maybe want yellow, maybe darker yellow, maybe want black. It's cool, black piece of furniture, maybe we want white, so why not, completely white. And that's it, do however you want, whatever you want with your photos. Also, you can colorize the face, skin, I don't know, whatever you feel comfortable or whatever you have a need to do. Maybe you wanna create like Hulk type of character really easily with this technique, but this technique can be really handy in a lot of other different situations, so it's really good to know like wide spectrum of set of techniques, for example, to change colors, and then you will be covered for all the all my, all the situations in Photoshop. Then just to know one or two, to be lazy and not to uh, spread your knowledge, to to learn more, and then you will stuck in some situation you will not don't know what to do. So guys, I really hope that you like this tutorial, that you learn something new and useful from this one. This is really cool, easy, simple technique, but you can do a lot of things with it, a lot of things with it. You can really easily change color to exactly color exact color that you want. And if you like it, if you appreciate this content, just press the like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And also ring that bell icon to be notified for, uh, for all other future updates, future episodes. Also guys, if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, to support me, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and also you will get some things in return. So check it out if you're willing to do it. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye bye.